Okay, Mr. Officer, and as we continue working with the geometry of vectors, we have a scenario where we have vector A, we have vector A here, and vector B, and C, and D, and so on. And we want to find out what vector AB is going to be. Well, vector AB is simply the same as A, vector A. If I go to AD, well, that means I'm going from here, and I want to end up here at D. And so if I follow the trail from A to B, B to C, C to D, I know to show it in gory detail, it's AB plus BC plus CD. These add up to AD. So AD is equal to vector A plus B plus C. Okay, if I want to go now, if I want to go from B to D, I'm now looking to change this vector here. I want to go from D to B in this direction here. Let me change the color. This is what I'm looking for. I am looking for the purple one. I'm looking for this vector here. So when I want to do that, what I could do is I want to DB. Well, I can do D to C plus C to B. Well, D to C, I know, is negative C. And then this is negative B. OK? Uh, and then D part, D is now asking us to go from B to D. So if I follow my trail now, I'm going to go from B to D sorry, I want to go from B to D, and then D to E, and then minus A to E. That's the same thing as saying positive E to A. So I'm going to go now this way, and then I'm going to go back to A to B. Well, I start at A and I end, I start at B and I end at B, I just go around the circle. It means I'm going to have the zero vector. The zero vector means I, I end up at the same spot that I begin. 